Oh, what is going on, everybody? Hello. <laughs> it is Pixel Partners here, and welcome back to Phoenix Wright Spirit of Justice. Move left off. Gotta get people on their toes, man. You can't ex- have them expect loud stuff all the time. Exactly. When we left off. That way, when uh, it does happen, it's terrifying. <laughs> we had Nana on stand, and she's saying her Nana totally not Amara things, but now we brought up a picture <laughs> of Amara. Nana totally not Amara and, things. And, and people still don't know what's going on, apparently, even though we're bringing up the evidence for it, so... Let's go ahead and uh, give the, our, 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 our explanation as to why we're bringing up this picture. Yeah. Oh, um, sorry. <laughs> How do I put this? <laughs> uh, I believe there's a problem with Nana's testimony. An orange. Go on. She asserted that she cannot possibly be a spirit medium because, in crying, only members of the royal family can learn how to channel spirits. I failed to see the problem in that statement, friends. Hold on. I'm getting to it, your majesty. Hold on Hold to your, your pants. <laughs> <laughs> Two very different things. Nana stated an absolute falsehood. Since we know that Amara is still alive. At the same time, circumstantial evidence points to Nana channeling Inga. Is he slowly connecting After it? After all, now? just have shared his private quarters. Inga came running out screaming despite having been killed at 2 p.m. That would mean that Nana channeled Inga. Even though supposedly only one of the royal family are capable of doing so. Wait, wait, wait. Is it Tilly's fast for refund of my trip down the rabbit hole? <laughs> Mr. Wright, <laughs> you may think I've lost my mind with this bluff, but... But... But if I can at least establish the possibility, I think it'll give us the break we need. Phoenix and is so serious. It, and it'll break the courtroom. <laughs> wait wait a sec. It'll break the country. Are you going to propose what I think you are? <laughs> yes, it's a huge risk, but I think there's a chance I can prove it. Will the court please take a look at this photo? Mm-hmm. Oh, she's got... She, <laughs> the that's... Oh, fuck. <laughs> Gone, we're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's only you. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> this photo's very existence, to say nothing of the person in it, contradicts the witness's claim that Queen Gron is the only remaining spirit medium in crime. Horn devil, you mustn't. Oh, her eye twitched. Wow, oh, shit, yeah. she's about to flip. Oh, but I must. Under these circumstances, the outcome of this trial depends on it. But you already knew that, didn't you, your eminence? Oof. Will the defense please explain who is shown in the photograph? The person the photo is the previous queen, Amara Sigatar Karain. Contrary to popular belief, she was never assassinated. In fact, she's very much alive. What? But that's nonsense. Take a good look at how the law book in this take a good look at the fo- at the law book in this photo. Your magistrate. The mark of the dragon, the mark of the dragon. Bra- okay, no, I didn't read that long. There, there's an no. is missing. The mark of the dragon branded on it. The mark of the dragon branded on it. Could, Could only have okay, been placed. Okay, that makes more sense. Could only have been placed <laughs> there after Queen Amara's supposed assassination. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. Queen Amara's still alive? Has a lawyer gone mad? With power. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> While I personally find it hard to believe, and will allow the defense to continue, you may proceed, defense. Oh boy, here we go. Down the rabbit hole. Queen Amara's death was staged to keep her safe from her would be killer. Yet, according to Dirk, she is actually being held captive somewhere. But the real truth is that Queen Amara is not being held in confinement. Rather, she walks freely among us. Here in this very courtroom today. But ow! Oh boy. <laughs> Jutsu. <laughs> God bless you. Thank well, you for then. piping up, by the way. You haven't shown up for like 40 <laughs> minutes and now you say something. Don't be deceived, your majesty. The red pepper's skilled in weaving plausible lies. It is the cunning loyalty art known as bluffing. But knowing this, there's no need to fear his forked tongue. Ah, nah, 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 nah. <sighs> that 
catch me or wrong, prosecutor. Because you'll be quaking in your boots soon enough. Is that so? <laughs> He's just holding it there. <laughs> it's my turn, Nyuta, to wake you up to the truth right before your eyes. Queen Amara is still very much alive and has been distinguishing herself as... Distinguishing? <laughs> or disguising herself as... Wait, disguising herself as Nana? Well, I mean, I... Yeah, because she's not that old. I told you. Yeah. It's just they're making it seem that she's disguising herself as someone else, as if Nana was a person no, beforehand. Like, but... as Nana. Yeah. <clears throat> but, but that's... <clears throat> oh, God. Oh, goodness. <laughs> <laughs> this is the simplest and cleanest explanation for everything we've covered so far. The person who killed Minister Inga... Someone with intimate knowledge of the divination seance. The medium who channeled the minister in order to mask the real time of his death. Condense these traits into one person, you get a spirit medium of royal blood. Yep. And that person is none other than you, Nana. <laughs> <laughs> Your true identity is the former Queen Amara and the kill we've been looking for all along. The otter is formerly known as Amara. <laughs> wait, wait, what do you he say? He said blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Have you finally <laughs> lost your mind, Mr. Justice? What you say is beyond blasphemous, even in the depths of hell. Oh my, such frightening allegations. <laughs> Indeed, an absolutely ludicrous to boot. Eminence Queen Amara yet lives. And it's actually Miss Nana here. You've truly gone off the deep end. You don't have to take my word for it. Oh, this epic music man. <laughs> In fact, a certain someone can help me prove it. Your eminence. She's so mad. She's twitching like fuck. If Queen Amara truly is dead, you should be able to channel her spirit right here, right oh. now. Isn't that correct? <laughs> uh, 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 we pull the hat. I can deny it no longer. Uh-oh. Uh <laughs> the lawyer speaks the truth. Nana, the woman who stands here before us. <laughs> Is Amara, the former queen believed to have perished 23 years ago. Pukuka! <laughs> Holy shit! Basically. <laughs> I've been here for 27 seasons. Look at her. Show, she's just real. like, um, I've spent years on this disguise. Why are you out at me right now? <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Finally. We finally got Ing's real killer on the stand. Nana. Nope. Amara Singatar Karim. Please drop the act and tell us what really happened. Yeah, she's not using the cane anymore. No, she's been too busy holding herself in <laughs> in jutsu for a while there. <laughs> so that's where Nayuta gets it from. Oh. Oh, dearie me. I guess I shouldn't have underestimated the power of youth. Well done, young hornhead. Huh? Here we oh, go. Boy. What the? Okay. And that's not how sleeves work, but all right. They are for her. <laughs> Who's playing the drums in the back? It's like, where'd the percussion come from? <laughs> where'd the choir start singing from? Transformation sequence. A cocoon. It's like a magical girl transformation. This is so anime. But holy shit. Yo. Whoa! <laughs> oh, she's so pretty. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> now you have to find another voice. <laughs> I can't talk like this anymore. <laughs> no. Uh, I mean, just, oh, I was getting tired of masquerading as an old woman anyway. It has been far too long since I last greeted you, good people of Karine. It is I, Amara Sigatar Karine, your former queen. Why are your hands a clock? <laughs> uh, qu qu queen Amara! What? There's your mama. <laughs> I know he's standing already. <laughs> Everyone is shooketh. <laughs> and I thought Garan's makeover was extreme. 
Can it really be true? You are alive and well? It is true. I feel as if I have been called back from the Twilight Realm. I fear I have caused all of you a great deal of distress. <laughs> oh, distress. My whole life is distress. <clears throat> Amara. I'm sorry I was unable to keep your secret any longer. I hope you can forgive me. It is quite all right, Garan. I am safe now. For Dirk, that blackguard who threatened my life will be recaptured soon enough. I did not conceal my identity any longer. C Queen Amara, what, what does this all mean? Were you not killed in that fire 23 years ago? I barely escaped that blaze with my life. But though I survived, I knew that scoundrel would make further attempts on my life. <laughs> Therefore, I staged my death and abdicated the throne to my dear younger sister, Garan. But, but the buildings of that great tomb... Uh, uh, the, uh, 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 the building uh, the of the building, great tomb. Yes, <laughs> I know. I was about to correct myself. In disguising yourself as a lowly servant... Uh, uh, why would you do such a thing? <laughs> Garan, I would have you explain. I wished for her to be close at hand. It was, the only, it was the only way I felt I could protect her. It was the best way to hide her from the eyes of the public. After all, who could conceive of Amara lowering her station to that of a servant? She's got that right. Even Dirk thought Amara was being held captive in some far off place. Yeah. You never even guessed she was living as a servant, right in plain sight. I must say, a life dedicated to the servitude of others is not the least bit disagreeable. It yo. is not the... <laughs> yo, <laughs> Why yo. is she... <laughs> I was saying her hands are a yeah. clock. But yo, is Amara evil? Is she a mean bitch? I don't know. Is she know. a bad bitch? Is, is, <laughs> because, I mean, to be fair, if she was being held against her will, just kind of willy-nilly being, you know, a servant that goes about free for the most part, that's not very... Much captive, that is very much a very protective service. Yeah. And if she killed Inga, she would need a reason to, and that would be Inga trying to take the throne away from Amara. Or not Amara, but from the her Garan. sister. Well, let's keep this rolling. Hmm. It is a quiet, humble existence, far removed from the tedium of regal duties. Ah, but those days of peace have ended. And it's all because of you, Hornhead. You should consider yourself lucky if that's all this ends with. <laughs> if there is something you wish to say, then say it. It doesn't matter who you are, you won't escape the crime you committed. The defense moves to indict you as Justice Minister Inga's real killer. Hmm. Oh well then. He's straight up pointing at her, too. Yep, just you, bitch. What's this? You would accuse Queen Amara of homicide? A grand priestess of Koreanism? You, you, you can't do that. She, she's virtually a goddess in the eyes of her people. You <laughs> fucking mad lad. <laughs> if you commit the crime, you'd better be ready to do the time. Everyone who works for Phoenix is a mad lad, because <laughs> yeah. Phoenix is a mad <laughs> Be you priest, saint, queen? Or God, I'm coming to him for all this. I'm coming to him for all this virus stuff. You hear me? You're next, buddy. It's a lot of homicide detected. It's genocide at this point, oh my motherfucker. God. Oh God. <sighs> I've never met such an egalitarian person. Queen Amara, in your years disguised as Nanny, you would have learned about ministering his disorder. So you knew you could dress in Dirk's clothes and forge the evidence, the conv a convincing seance vision. Isn't that right? Oh, what a curious character you are. You would label me a murderer. Me, the one who the people regarded as the reincarnation of the Holy Mother herself. You may be a green figure in Koreanism, but as a foreigner, you're just another suspect to me. <laughs> it would appear your words are not in jest. Am I to suffer the sullying of my good name with accusations of murder most foul? Yes. <laughs> but please, Queen Amara, forgive his impudence. The lawyer knows not what he speaks. He's very stupid. Fear not, good Majesty, for this is the sacred hall of justice. 
Though I am a good, and I am a grand priestess on this stand, I am but a witness like any other. I shall face his accusations with grace and benevolence. Your compassion overfloweth your mercifulness. <laughs> <laughs> oh, young lawyer, <clears throat> in my benevolence, I must warn you that your assertion suffers for, from a tragic flaw. Huh? There's a flaw? Nayuta. Y yes, your mercifulness? Who was present in the tomb when the murder was discovered? Duck Sadmari, Maya Fey, and the victim in Astanga. I see. That is a fatal flaw indeed. It appears Queen Amar couldn't possibly have gone to the tomb as Minister Inga. What? Why not? Do not keep the defense waiting, Nayota. Explain how wrong he truly is. Yes, your mercifulness. Her benevolence, Queen, er, uh, Princess Rafa, summoned Senga into the tomb around 2.30 p.m. Yet yeah, due to the defense claim the person she saw was the minister being challenged by Queen Amara. God, she's pretty. Yes. Pretty evil. Uh, okay. <laughs> we don't know that. <laughs> However, her m if her mercifulness had channeled him... She's just kind of sketch. <laughs> yeah. And moved to the tomb. Then when she was done channeling... Queen Amara would have re-emerged and left... Had a bit of less stuck in a tomb. Oh, yeah. Has she tried to exit before you all arrived? Ah. Uh. Princess Rafer, who had been looking down upon the courtyard, would have seen her. However, her benevolence saw nothing of the sort. Ah. Uh. In conclusion, Queen Amara could not have left the tomb without being observed. And yet she was there in the tomb when the murder was discovered, defense. You said observed instead of seen? What do you use? Like, freaking thesaurus? <laughs> no. No, she wasn't. He's like, let's see. Seen? That's too common of a word. <laughs> observed! She would have been observed. Yeah. Now you see. Your flimsy claim has been uprooted like a sapling in a flood. Ah! Uh, uh. <laughs> Whoa. Well, that was entertaining. Prosecutor Sadmari. Assume the prosecution of this case and clear your mother's good name. You wish for me to take over? Yes. Prosecute your father to save your mother. Sadist. <laughs> what a... Is it poignant? That's how I've always... Yeah, poignant. Yeah, what a poignant fate you bear, but you bear it. But bear it, you must. Are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> yes, your eminence. And there you have it, your majesty. I shall watch the rest of the proceedings from the sidelines. I relinquish complete control of this sacred hall to your authority once more. Well, why, thank you, your eminence. Now then, your mercifulness, get your testimony if you please. There's only room for one queen in here. Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> Stop being a clock, woman. <laughs> please. <laughs> Or is she just really slow motion juggling? I don't know what's going <laughs> on there. Slow motion juggling. You, oh, slow fuck. I almost dropped the controller. <laughs> slow motion air juggling. <laughs> now I shall destroy our utterly absurd and bar 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 barbarous theory. <laughs> it was not anywhere near the tomb following the murder. Were your theory correct, I would have been in the tomb once I had stopped channeling. My husband, Dirk, is the killer, but he has fled from this sacred hall. May the Holy Mother rain judgment upon the traitor Dirk Sadmadi for his crimes. That's part of your statement? Really? Okay. <laughs> oh, such marvelous testimony! You are truly a treasure, your mercifulness! This, too, is but by the grace of Her Holiness. No doubt my unmasking here today was her will as well. Oh, my! The Holy Mother, you say? Yes. Surely Her Holiness has guided me to this witness stand. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I see where Nayuda gets it from now. Oh, yo, just for a second here. That tiger, though, looks like someone <laughs> drugged the fuck out of- They as derpy as fuck. Someone <laughs> drugged Tony the Tiger from Frosted Flakes, and he looks like he's seen some shit. 
<laughs> that tiger's just like, holy fuck, she's so pretty. <laughs> oh my the god. Deer, the deer's so cute. <laughs> It is. She's a literal Snow White. Like, Apparently. I, Jesus and Christ. And to the purity of truth. Oh, my God. Who let amazing. these animals in? <laughs> oh, heck, magnificent Queen Amara, the Holy Mother's messenger here on Earth. Praise be for Queen Amara. Blessings. Blessings upon her mercifulness. <laughs> yeah. Where did those animals even come from? Now, then, the defense may question the witness. I didn't see a doggy door in here. Let alone a tiger door. Right? <laughs> they just busted through. <laughs> But remember, she is a grand priestess, so disrespect will not be tolerated. That means no pointing out conflicts, inconsistencies, or any other flaws in her testimony. That's my job. Um, <laughs> You're not allowed to cross-examine Oh my god, her. the animals are still here. <laughs> <laughs> I expected them to disappear, but they're still here. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, man. Um, hmm. So, I was not anywhere near the tomb following the murder. Were your theory correct? I would have been in the tomb once I had stopped channeling. Yes, you were. My husband, Dirk, is the girl, but he has fled from this sacred hole. Because, see, if she was nice, you won't, you don't think she would implicate the person that she's supposedly, like, trying to run away with. Or she's just putting up a front. But why? I don't know. <laughs> All right, um... The lotus flower on her head is pretty, though. Because, I mean, her front would also result in the death of Dirk. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this isn't like other... She's literally... If she was nice, she's letting her love die for her sake. I don't know what's going on here. All right. Um, hmm. Do we have any evidence that she was still there? Probably not. But I'll go ahead and press this. Hold it! The tiger doesn't even have any whiskers. <laughs> I'll admit you weren't in the tomb after the murder. I see. Oh, right, right. I'm busy staring at that tiger. I know, tiger. they're distracting. <laughs> very He's good, distracting. but that very truth refutes your theory. Even if I had channeled Minister Inga Whoops. and entered the tomb, the moment I ceased channeling him, I would have re emerged the crime scene. Precisely. As you said yourself, Defense Queen Amara was not there after the murder. The only living souls in the tomb at that time were Dark Samadhi and Maya Fey. Oh. Be it in this life or the next. There's no escaping such simple truths. <laughs> Whatever you say. It's a killer, but he has fled from the sacred hall. What? <laughs> There must be a reason why he had to make his escape today. A reason? Ah, perhaps. Perhaps what? Perhaps to conceal himself and lie and wait for another chance to claim my life. What? What is? What? What is? This? <laughs> why is she <laughs> saying that? No, no, no! It's definitely like that. Your mercifulness. First of all, you don't really believe he's trying to kill you, do you? After all, you two ran off together after he rescued you all those years ago. That was only because he had the audacity to claim, It wasn't me, you must believe me. It was my duty as a wife to her husband. To bend an ear to him, was it not? Communication after disagreement is the secret to a long and happy marriage. Sure, I guess. What do you think, Mr. Wright? Said, don't ask me. He's like, I don't even have a girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> My last one died. <laughs> Technically, yeah. <laughs> that is why uh. I listen. That is why I listen to Dirk. However, he didn't have a shred of evidence to support his claim. It grieves me to admit it, but my husband truly did try to murder me. Wait, 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 wait Even the wait, tiger's wait, like, what? <laughs> Wait, 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 but we have, there must be something in the file that helps unimplicate him, right? Because we have the file from the case from years ago, Amara's assassination file. Oh yeah, this file. is where the assassination evidence comes in play. The involving Amara's private residence, Amara was slipped the seeping pill and perished in the fire. Later found on the scene, had Dirk's fingerprints on it. Apollo's raving magician father, 
musician father. I keep calling him a magician. I, did I say me? I don't even know. You said got caught I up in this so. incident and lost his life. He was struck in the head by a culprit. The victim's passport and any pictures of him were burned up in the fire without knowing his real name. Uh, the son of terrorist Dirk Nagato was expelled. Is his father? Mm, no, that doesn't quite have anything there. Damn it. That's what about the butterfly? It. Well, no, all this was is about them. I, I don't think that It's just do like anything. if he tried to kill you, why would he have this picture of you guys all lovey dovey? Uh, I don't think you would. Uh, we're, gonna, we're talking about the killer for this case oh, right now. Oh, so right, right. I was just trying to see if there was anything that would prove the evidence that. Uh, actually, yeah, that wouldn't work. I forgot that anyways, what she so. just said wasn't added to the test. Yeah, let me see if there's a repeat. I guess she's <laughs> going to keep on claiming Dirk's the killer until she's blue in the face. <laughs> You'll have to find a hole in her testimony if you want to turn this thing around. If I ever needed a ghost of a chance, it's now. Okay, thanks for the not hint at all, guys. Yeah. I mean, that's not really anything to go with. I was not even to him following the murder. Okay, so let me try this one. That's very <clears throat> intricate embroidery on her dress. Yeah. Well, maybe you were hiding inside the sarcophagus, which I've been saying for a while, which might get blown yeah. apart now. Oh, God. After all, it does think they belong to you. I bet you have no trouble opening it. If I had been in there, I could not be here today. The tomb has been under constant surveillance since the murder. <clears throat> I would have never been able to leave. Hmm. I guess not. I didn't know it's been under constant surveillance. Unless it's a secret passage. Mm. Um, if I might ask... You What's mean, in that you sarcophagus mean like a, anyway? Like a magician stage setup type yeah. thing? Yeah. <laughs> uh, you're still alive, so. There is despair, sadness, hatred, and malice. Only one brave enough to see the truth hidden deep within. Could discover the final hope, my continued corporeality. What? Well, you completely lost me. <laughs> in other words, it's empty. But no one dared to open it because they were too scared of the curse. Now, will you dispense with your theory? It is as empty as my sarcophagus. Oh. That's quite enough. It's abundantly clear that Queen Amara's testimony is flawless, just like her. <laughs> Do you understand now, lawyer? Uh, this is bad. But this isn't going to let me cross-examine her much longer. Amara should have been in the tomb after the minister's murder. But she wasn't. I don't get it. How does she just vanish from the scene of the crime like that? It shouldn't be possible for normal people to. For normal people. Ah, maybe. Maybe what? She summoned a tiger. <laughs> <laughs> Your Majesty, I think I can explain why Queen Amara wasn't there in the tomb after the murder. Very well, defense, do explain. This will be great. I believe it was accomplished through a message through a method only she is capable of. And by using this special method, it'd be possible for her to literally disappear. Well, don't keep us waiting. Let's hear it. We didn't call her a ghost. <laughs> How did Queen Amara disappear from the tomb? She clung to the ceiling. Oh my god, like Spider-Man. You know, well, hmm. That'd be interesting, but... I don't know, because... They told us to not go with the sarcophagus part because it was under surveillance the whole time. She clung to the ceiling is a dumb fucking idea, so channeling someone would be a way out. But she I'm would have had to hide in the sarcophagus one, I'm first. I'm surprised you're not wanting to check the ceiling thing just to see what I mean, as much as I want to, that's also a, a, a tick on our bar up there. But Oh yeah, because you haven't saved, have you? Because in the first place to right? I just saved, but oh. I don't know. It's almost too dumb to do. That might hurt my brain a little You've too much. You've done dumber. <laughs> Not really. Fine, yes, I'll do have. it for the content. She <laughs> clung to the ceiling. Queen Mara must have clung to the ceiling. Yes, she was hanging off of it. Like a bat. Like one of the dancers dried geckos. <laughs> Remember he claimed Inga was a zombie before? <laughs> yeah. Well, was that something I said? Nice try, Apollo, but you might want to try a different joke with this crowd. I wasn't trying to be funny, Mr. Wright. We were. <laughs> I 
How dare you compare her mercifulness to a mere gecko? Ouch. <laughs> Sorry. That was uneventful. I should defend again. And I will restart so I can get that last one here. I was here. hoping uh, that'd be funnier. <laughs> we can only ask for so much from them. Yeah. All right, load it back up. Wait, I'm not sure because, I mean, to chill someone, she would have had to hide in the first place probably because she would have to hide because the only people that were channel though i'd say like a random just guard person that could easily walk out at some point because like they said if she had in the sarcophagus she would have had to come out at some point while it was being watched which would be difficult yeah but what about her clothes I, would she still be dressed up in uh, in and let's try to hit the sarcophagus part that's wrong nope so she did channel someone. So we're going to go ahead and just return on that one so we get the right one right off the bat. Well, we don't know if she did. We're implying that she did. True. But, I mean, like we said, that's the only way that she yeah. could have hidden. I don't know what... Uh, she obviously channeled... Uh, 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 that's a great question. Let's find out more about this. <laughs> All she had to do was channel someone. Then she could easily disappear from the scene of the crime. After all, she would literally be someone else. Why, well, I believe that actually makes sense for once. <laughs> what do you have to say of that, Queen Amara? You believe that I, a grand priestess, would use the sacred power of spirit channeling to commit murder? Yes, yes I do. Whoa! Uh whoa, 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 what, whoa, what the? Eee, e, e, mercy, your mercifulness. <gasps> She's Zeus. <laughs> oh my God, my phone's dead. Fuck. <laughs> Ask her to recharge it with her Latin. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you spew such vile blasphemy defense? You will retract your last statement or face immediate execution. Uh. No, good Magistry. It is quite all right. Koranism also teaches that we must respond at all times with reason principle. Therefore, I shall offer a measured response to his blasphemous accusation. You have something to counter with? Indeed. Now, are you listening? It would not have been possible to simply vanish by means of spirit channeling. After all, it would require a deceased person to channel. However, there was only one murder victim in the tomb. And that was Minister Inga, the only others there after it. Right after his murder! Were Dirk and Miss Faye. Uh. And I channeled Inga, as you allege. Well, the outcome would have been quite odd, to say the least. For there, beside the dead minister, a living, breathing one would have appeared. Even if I had been in the tomb, there was no one to channel except the deceased minister. So you see, I could not have vanished by means of spirit channeling. Get That's true, but... I can't rule it out yet. Because, well... What if there was another victim? What? Apollo, what are you going on about now? No, I've been thinking this for a little bit here. And I've got a wild ride to take you on. Because you're probably not going to believe this. Because I'm still trying to get out the nitty gritty oh, of this. Dirk. Yes. And that's why he's like straight up gone right now? Exactly. He, ha he had to leave because he had to become Nana to go on the stand and take place. He disappears right as Nana shows back up into this world. Mm. And that's how she could have so easily, quote unquote, disguised herself as Dirk in the tomb with the scar and everything because she did become Dirk. I don't I like that. I think that's the truth. Well, then when when would he have been killed? That would, How long well, was actually, he being channeled for? Well, actually, 
No, the skies could have still worked, but you have to remember Dirk went into the tomb. Wait, and that actually also makes sense. Is he in the sarcophagus? No, 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 no. no. Well, because his actually, blood yes, was it, on the floor leading to the sarcophagus. Remember? Yes, it was. And he's like, "Oh, you got me." And that's why he's quote unquote sick because he has to disappear soon after this case. Oh, Dirk is no. dead as fuck. Oh no! And the reason why Dirk being channeled doesn't remember anything is because you only remember what you come to. And he was summoned after the murder, and he's like, "I just oh, woke yeah. up and I had a knife in my hand," because that's when he was channeled and became. Dirk in the tomb. Oh no. Dirk was alive before he walked into the tomb, but then he was killed and then channeled His to be. His body's in the Dirk. sarcophagus, isn't it? It has to be. Oh no. This is going to be a wild trip, folks. Oh, and we're going to continue this no. wild trip next time. This is going to be so, it's, once Apollo oh, figures Apollo. this out. Apollo. Apollo and oh, and Nayuda no. are going to flip the fuck out. Oh no. Well, strap in everybody. Phoenix better fucking show Apollo <laughs> who his mom is after all this. Oh god. Oh my god.